This is Mr. Zalgo here, and today we are going to be starting up a new daily Let's Play. And yes, I mean daily. I will be setting up a bunch of uploads so that for each day there will come another one. There might be a couple videos that are pre-recorded. Um, so hopefully that wouldn't really eat up for the days that I am going to be busy doing other things, you know. But, in any case, for today, we will be starting up Xenogears. Now, my knowledge of Xenogears is interesting. So, basically, the history of this game. This was originally supposed to be the plot line, the early concepts for Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, this was originally supposed to be the, one of the original concepts for Final Fantasy VII. However, Squaresoft, back when they were Squaresoft, before they got merged with Enix, um, decided against it because apparently this new concept was far too dark and far too complex to be... Uh, to work into a Final Fantasy game. A plot more complicated than Final Fantasy. Which is crazy, honestly. Um, but instead of just sacking the project altogether, um, they allowed the guy who proposed the idea, the uh, story, uh, Tetsuo... I think his name is... Tetsuno Takahashi. I might have gotten his first name wrong. You could correct me if about that. Um, so Takahashi decided to create Xenogears, which will be, which becomes the birthplace of the Xeno franchise, which you all, which if many of you don't know, is games like Xenosaga or the Xenoblade Chronicles, which Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is coming out shortly. All these games will, are created by the same guy who made Xenogears. But anyway, I, despite having a lot of knowledge regarding the history of this game, I legit have never played this. At all. I've never had the chance to. But now that I'm given the ability to uh, finally play this game on a on a PC and well be able to record it I really really want to um, try it out and see and see what the story is like because apparently this is a really ambitious story like beyond most any game of of ambition seriously Supposedly, this game from some, many people has some of the most ambitious lore and world building out of many games even today. Maybe ahead of its time, or maybe it's just overhype. I don't know. But there's only one way to really find out. And that one way is to try out the game. So let us start. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last.
the continent of Ignas, in the northern hemisphere of our world. On this, the largest continent, a world war has been raging between two countries for hundreds of years. In the north of the continent lies the Kislev Empire. In the south lies the desert kingdom of Ava. The war has gone on for so long that the people have forgotten the cause, knowing only the pointless circle of hostility and tragedy. The chronic war obsession was soon to encounter a devastating change. This was due to the Athos, an institution that preserves our world's culture, repairing tools and weapons excavated from the ruins of an ancient civilization. At once, both countries excavated these ruins and had the Athos repair the discoveries in order to increase their military power. The various weapons excavated from the ruins greatly changed the form of warfare. The outcome of the battle between the two countries was no longer determined by man-to-man -man combat, but by gears, giant humanoid fighting machines that were obtained from deep within the ruins. Eventually, after continuous swings in the state of the war, Kislev gained the upper hand. The major factor behind this lay in the enormous difference in the amount of resources buried within their ruins. But suddenly, a mysterious military force appeared in the continent of Ignis, called Gebler. This force decided to make contact with Ava. With the assistance of this Gebler military force, Ava was able to recover from being hopelessly outnumbered to being back on an even standing with Kislev. Then, taking further advantage of its newly gained momentum, Ava started to capture one territory after another from Kislev, showing no indication of slowing down in their invasion campaign. The remote village of Lahan, in the outskirts of Ava, near the border with Kislev. This is where it all begins. Oh shit, starting combat? That's one down. What on earth are you? No matter how often I knock you down, you still get up? Faye! Stop! You must not fight here! <sighs> Boy, are you persistent. Damn it! How come? Why did it have to come to this? Oh, it was a cutscene. A painting? Ooh. Gotta love the, like, 3D, um... That's some, like, 3D modeling, like, polygons across a sprite. Whew. That about does it. 
All right. Now for a short break. Okay. So I'm like taking a look at the control scheme right now. So with my current uh, endpoints I have on the keyboard, looks like L1 and R1 would be used to rotate the camera around. Looks like R2 and L2 don't seem to do much of anything. Oh, triangle's a jump button. Just gotta be sure of everything, you know? The circle button is the sprint. That's useful. Those sprite animations, though, goddamn. They're not bad at all. Z, I, that was the, what I was using for those converts, so I assume that's for accept. And looks like the square button looks like a pause screen. Exit, file, gear, I assume that's for the mech. That looks like a save button. I can make that work. Hmm. Well, that's something I could probably work with at some point. Gear, abilities, guided shot, key attack, ball of something. Items, nothing. Equip, martial wear, martial cap, and stamina ring, which grants a defense value. Looks like those are my stats. I have a weight system on here. Ether. Oh, death blows. I don't know what those are. Okay. S pretty. S pretty simplistic look, I guess. And what about these buttons? Okay, so start is the pause button, and select does nothing at all. At least for now, so. Just want to make sure everything is in order. Not a bad painting, I guess. Looks like I can study each of these. Huh. Hmm. Very cool. I really like the sp the uh, polygons. This was 1998, by the way. Good stuff. Hello, Faye. You're looking well today. My, how time flies. Why, it has already been three years since you came to our village. When they first saw you brought in all bloody and soaking. To tell you the truth, they didn't think you were going to make it. And that strange masked man who carried you here that day. Do you really think that maybe he was your real father? Don't you remember anything? Why? They say you had terrible nightmares and constantly call out for your father. Who is it? Who are you? What? You want me to look after this boy? But now, you're so healthy and strong, and it's all thanks to our village chief, Lee. My, you should be grateful. I guess so. Mysterious master- Get away from me. Ah! Jump on's useful. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, this is- this is wonderful. I got, I got a, a free, I, I got a free ride. Quickly, take me outside. No, oh, okay. No, what's through here? Okay. Received Aquasol. 
and Aqua Soul does. Okay, it's a simple restoration on health. That's what it looks like. Okay, let's head upstairs then. Okay, nothing on that barrel. You know, Faye, I'm sure that your village chief thinks of you as his golden grandson. Not having any family for all those years, and living on his own for oh so long. That's why he cares so very dearly about you. Please, never do anything that would break his poor old heart. You promised me that, Faye. Maybe that was a lady. Oh, it was. Oh, no, I didn't do the voice right. People here. Yo! Hey! Hi there, Faye! Sorry for us all using your house like this. But we have to talk about the big day tomorrow with the village chief. Yeah, tomorrow, huh? Your wedding with Alice! <laughs> now that is a big day. Yeah, right? But it still hasn't hit me as reality, though. Hey, uh. Timothy, I just want to say thank... I just want to thank both you and Alice. Three years ago, I woke up in this village without a trace of my memory. I didn't know who I was, where I had been, nor what I had been doing up until that day. I couldn't recall a single thing. Despite that, you and Alice sympathized with me and encouraged me to go on. If the two of you hadn't have been there for me, I don't know what would have become of me. Timothy, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Now, you and Alice had better live happily ever after. <laughs> Quit it, will ya? You don't have to go and get all mushy on me. Anyway, to me it feels like I've always been friends with you ever since we were kids. And we will go on being friends forever, right? Of course! Oh yeah, Faye. Could you stop by and check on Alice? I still have stuff to discuss with my old man and uh, village chief, but I'm sure she'll be glad to have some company. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. Uh, anyway, I'll see you later. Oh, and uh, I'm really looking forward to the ceremony tomorrow. Okay, so good wedding today for, I guess, Faye's best friend, Timothy. It's great to hear, at least. Hello there, Faye. Our Timothy is a really lucky boy to be able to marry such a beautiful girl like Alice. I hope you come up with some embarrassing tales to tell in your speech. <laughs> ah, the power of, power of marriage and good friends. Oh, it's you, Faye. We're in the middle of discussing Timothy and Alice's wedding arrangements. Hey, why don't you bring a girlfriend or two once in a while? Just because you live with an old man like me doesn't mean you have to hold back now, you Harl. You hear? Why, when I was as young as you are, it seemed like every day I would... <coughs> oh, uh, never mind. Now, we still have important things to discuss, so don't get in the way now. Alright. I don't know whether to be happy or sad. Tomorrow our little Alice is going to become someone's wife. I knew this day would come. Oh, this is the worst part of bringing up a little girl. Oh. I can probably understand that, I guess, being a brother to a dear sister. Ah, oh, happy days. Oh! So there you are! Faye! I have to talk to you about something! Why, hello there, Dan! You're lively today, as you are every day. Dan! Don't be so rude! What's this barging in and all? Ah, Timothy's here too. 
butt out, Timothy. Until you marry my sister, you have nothing to do with me at all. I just have some business here with my friend Faye. So anyway, Faye, I, uh, I have something to talk to you about later. What is it, Dan? It sounds serious. Yeah, that's why I can't talk about it here. There's a certain person listening in who could cause us some trouble. It's really important. We gotta talk. Seriously. One to one. Man to man. I'll be hanging around outside. So I'll see you there later. I'll see you there later. Okay? Be seeing you, Timothy. Take care of yourself till tomorrow. <laughs> Jeez. Huh. What's up with him? As of tomorrow, I'm going to be that kid's brother-in-law. That part isn't going to be no honeymoon. I guess one can understand that, though, like... I don't... I've never really gone to marriage or, like... Or any sort of that... Or any of that sort, so that's a no-go for me. Ooh, pupper! 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 What's that sound? Am I petting the dog? That sounded like a weird sound effect for a pet. <laughs> hmm. You know, I sometimes wonder... I wonder if there's a map here or something like that. Maybe I can look it up when I... I'm gonna do some quick research about, like, controls and all that. And, like, before the next part and all that. Okay. Alice and Timothy's wedding tomorrow. Wedding tomorrow is the talk of the town. I guess it's to be expected, though. It is one of life's biggest events. The women of the village are born, raised, married, and live out the rest of their lives here. There must be some happiness in that, but I've been thinking from time to time. Sometimes I wish I were born a man so I could- Oh, god damn it, I did it again. So I could travel the world and live an ever-changing life. Heh. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? I mean, not really? Really? Do you mean it? <laughs> I knew you'd say that for me, Faye. Here. This is my very own homemade aquasol. Our bear cows love it. Try it out sometime. Choice of all bear cows. I'm gonna have some difficulty identifying these sprites, aren't I? Oh no. no! Oh, Faye! Maybe you can help! Uh, have you seen Dan? He's probably around here somewhere. Getting up to his usual mischief. Alice was saying she needed him for something. How could a brat like him possibly be related to Alice? Oh, brother. Seems like the majority of the dialogue here is rather world-building kind of deal. So it might be important for me to start talking to these. This is the general store, although they don't have much of a selection. But then again, we're out in the country, so we can't complain too much. General store, huh? What's in here, then? Kids and what the? Fuck? Is that a cat? That is a. Just because Alice is getting Maui doesn't mean you have to be sad. Boy, when I get bigger, I'll be a boy. Will you wait for me? Um. Sure, I'll wait. Really? You you really you mean it? Cross your heart. All to die, stick a needle in your eye. It's all set then. Our boarding love has been toyed by unbreakable bonds. That voice was really something to try and pull. Oh boy. That's a cat, man. That's an interesting sprite for a cat. The only way you can really identify is like the tail, I guess. What about, what's, what about the shop? Oh, hi, Faye. Welcome. 
The big day's finally approaching, huh? Alice and Timothy's wedding is tomorrow. Hey, uh, how about getting them a stamina drink? Uh, of courage and love, uh, what do you think? Uh, come on, you, you gotta get them a present here. We're the only shop in town, you know. What do you got then? Aqua Soul. A Rosa Soul. And an Omega Soul. And a survival tent. Okay, so the Aqua Soul gives cost 20. The Rose Soul grants EP. I assume that's mana. And the Omega Soul grants both to full and it costs 50. That is incredibly cheap compared to the Rose Soul, which is just EP gain. Hmm. Interesting. Survival Tent fully restores the party's HP and EP. Okay, not bad. Might as well buy something at least. Let's see how this works. You can sell all these for like decent amounts, but I probably won't be the best idea, you know? Thanks again! Come by any time! I mean, I'm not really gonna get into too much of buying because, frankly, in RPGs, I have this. I'm kind of bad with spending habits. I will admit to that. Like, holy shoot. Holy shit, it can get really bad sometimes. Lately, my legs have gone weaker. It's causing me a great deal of trouble. I would like to go and have Dr. Azuki take a look and see if he can help me. But it's a tremendous task to go up that mountain path to visit the doctor. I must be getting old. That doctor's eccentric. Why else would anyone live on a mountain peak like that? He should have moved closer to the village. Vey, you're good friends with the doctor. Ask him to move closer to our village for us. Good friends with the doctor, huh? Well, that's something I can really consider. Though I don't know, though, suppose the doctor lives a bit high up, huh? Mountain path ahead. Beware of the HP gobbling hobgobs. Those wishing to see the doctor on the mountaintop should proceed with courage and conviction. Okay. This map's kind of big. More. Hmm. Oh, I'm just contemplating what I should plant next. Okay. It's a lot of work just try trying to raise crops, but it's an excellent feeling, Faye. In this great open land, new life emerges. I'm not saying we're doing it. It's just the earth, rain, and sun combining together to nurture these striving new lives. We're just helping them out. Pumpkinberry, apple lily, apple lily, radish, hmm, they all seem good. Interesting that your character gets, like, control. Like, you can resume control while you're talking to these kind of to these party members. It's an interesting, like, design choice. Not gonna lie. It's kinda cool. Okay. Welcome to the village of La. Oh, it's you, Faye. Oh, don't worry. We already consider you a proud member of the ha Lahan community. So, how about finding a wife and settling down in our village too? I'm sure if you live a peaceful life here, your memory will be back to bound to come back one day. You have a natural ability to paint and can do martial arts r rather well. I hear. I bet it's because your body remembers these things. You'll be able to breathe a sigh of relief when your memory returns to you. And don't you worry, I'm sure it will. Okay, so our character is an amnesiac, huh? Alright, we're gonna try and retrace our steps a bit, so... I'm gonna call this... Okay, so we've not been through that building here. Do you wanna explore a bit? Oh, good fate! Y you ready to talk? As you know, tomorrow is finally the day of my sister's wedding. So, what I want to talk to you about is exactly that. Alice's marriage. Fate. It's per to be perfectly honest with you, I've always wished you could have been my brother. 
it's still not too late. Uh, you could go steal Alice and run off with her. Oh, boy. If you need me to help, I'd be glad to. It may be odd for me to say this, but my sister's beautiful and a good cook. And this is just between you and me, but she's well down too. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Freaking yikes, man. Where are you poking me? So come on, go for it! It's crazy talk. Hey, what are you talking about, Dan? Timothy and Alice are both my best friends. You know I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Well, if you're going to be like that. But, if you change your mind, come and talk to me. Oh, jeez. So what's through here? It looks like a bar. Hmm. Young one, beware. I can see it. There's a dark and icy wind that blows where you are going. A wind that nurtures grief and resentment, inviting death from which there is no salvation. No one will be able to escape from it, but you. And only you must eventually face up to that dark wind. Just kidding. I've always wanted to try saying that. Did I scare you? <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> Well, one thing that seemed to be important to know was the fact that our character appeared to be an amnesiac, so... Have you heard the latest rumors? It's said that in the southern desert of Ava, there is buried treasure all over the place. There's hundreds of people who are trying to strike it rich by digging everywhere. A single strike could make you totally rich. But then again, you never can tell how much is the truth. In life, if it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. <laughs> hey, barkeep. Hey, it's Faye. How's it going? I ain't got any drinks for kids, you know. Uh, come back where you're older, all right? Uh, how old am I? That I do not know. Can I steal that? Ah, damn it. Okay. Guess I ain't. Guess. Guess I'm not getting away with it. Heck no! Oh my! Welcome, Faye! You, you wanna have some fun? I give the best service in Lahan, you know. Hey, Ellen! Quit teasing the innocent kid! Yeah, yeah, I know! It's just a joke! You blockhead. Gee, he's got sharp hearing. Anyway... Maybe next time, okay, Faye? I'll be waiting. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I don't think I can pull that one off without sounding cringe. I've already sounded cringe, but that's... <laughs> Rower. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. This is a rated T... This is a T-rated game. By the way, guys. Just letting you know. You got a problem with me? <laughs> drinking at midday? How can I not be drinking? Damn it. You got a problem, boy? No! Go! Go! Go for it! <laughs> I like you, boy. Now go away and leave me alone. South of here is the Black Moon Forest. If you can make it through there, you'll come to Ava, the great land of fire. I shouldn't be wasting my time here in this little country village. Why, I ought to go to Ava and work there. Beautiful women and good liquor. And if I work hard enough, I'll be rich in no time. <laughs> Wouldn't that be good? I would assume so. Let the dog go. Pet the doggo, pet the doggo, pet the doggo, pet the doggo, woohoo, pet the doggo. Hey, 
pay no attention to the fool. He is always saying all this carefree stuff. In reality, it's an incredibly hard task to get through the Black Moon Forest. Lots of dangerous beasts and fearsome fire-eating lizards make their home there. It would be better for you to stay away from there. Okay. This Black Moon Forest is supposedly kind of dangerous, I guess. That's a better modeled looking cat, I guess. I wouldn't need anything else if I could only live together with my family. Just the three of us. Why can't men understand something so simple? <sighs> I guess so. I mean, I would love to travel. I mean, I really want to go to Japan now, honestly. No, seriously, I, I really want to go to Japan because, like, Japan has, like, these really cool, like, cultures. And, um... There's some great imports there, like, uh... Like, the marble drinks? Marble drinks are awesome. I, I had some with my, uh... With my friends at... During a Dungeons & Dragons session. Dude, it was so... Weird to attempt to drink. But at the same time, it was fun to drink. There was fun in struggling to drink that thing. You know? It's hard to really describe it. Hey! Hey! Faye! Let's go catch some scamp scampi again sometime! I'm gonna get ya! Okay, I don't know what that scampi is. That Dan! When will he ever grow up? Someday. Why, hello, Faye. Are you here to see Alice? Actually, it's customary that we don't let any men in to see the bride today. But, you can be an exception. Okay. Sure, I'll take a, I'll take a look there. I just want to, since that's clear, like, main quest stuff and all that... I want to check the rest of the area out to be sure I haven't missed anything. Like, what's through this door here? Sorry, I just really want to catch as much side stuff as possible. I like checking this. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a save file! Huh. So that's how you save this game. That's weird. It actually reminds me of something in that you see in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I, I'm not going to spoil Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but that's something I do recall seeing. Like, it's the shape. The shape is interesting. Oh, good, good! You're lucky. You came just at the right time. If it's about the memory cube, then don't hesitate to ask me. No one knows better than I do. How about it then? Want to hear me out? Sure, I guess. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good show. That's the spirit. You're pretty smart for an artist. Now, open up those ears and carve every word I say into that tiny brain of yours. I'll begin by explaining how to save your adventure. Normally, you can open up the menu screen by pressing the square button. From there, you can select the file option and simply follow the directions to save. However, when you are in a town or a dungeon, you can only save at designated memory cube areas. Without a cube, you cannot save. To make a long story short, this... Wow, I... <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I gotta read that. I gotta read that when I watch the video. When I upload it, because what the fuck? <laughs> so, what do you think? You understood everything perfectly then. Okay, well, I gotta... What? You didn't understand? Oh, gee, well, alright. Let me explain once more. Alright, this time, make sure you're listening then. This spinning and bobbing thing here is the memory cube I just spoke about. Fearlessly stand inside of the cube's area and calmly and composedly open up the menu screen. From there, you will be able to save into a memory file as per normal. 
especially in dungeons and other like areas. As soon as you see one of these, you should save without hesitation. You never can tell what may happen next. When outside on the world map, you can save anywhere you like. Probably. If you don't want to wind up crying later, make sure you save frequently. Okay? So, that's it for my concise summer. You took it all in this time, didn't you? Well, even a two-year-old Dungarian monkey could understand my fantastic ex explanation. 120%, right? <laughs> Alright, now, for the explanation fee, it is 28 gold. 20 gold is a bargain considering you were able to receive such a perfect explanation from the likes of me. So, come on. Drop the excuses, be a man, and pay up! Oh, you motherfucker! You actually took my gold! Yes, thank you so much! No receipts given, though. You... I'll hop on your head. I'll hop on your head. Just, just because I can. Yeah. Screw you. Screw you. How dare you? How could you? Did you know that you can spin the world around with the L1 and R1 buttons? I'm sure you'll see things you weren't able to before. Explore the world by using your own eyes and ears. That is how you make the gains in your life truly your own. If you're lost, then be lost. There is no need to rush, is there? Nor do you have to explore the world using someone else's maps. Thanks. Well, I guess we found the tutorial house. When it comes to fighting techniques, I tend to be extremely fussy. I started to study up on them recently. How about them? Wanna hear what I have to say? Might as well. If you wanna skip this part, skip to the timestamp. I'll link in the comments and just go from there, I guess. Hmm. You're pretty scholarly for a youngin. Good. Now listen up. That guided shot ability you already have is one of the many mysterious powers related to ether and key. Not everyone has the talent to use such powers. People are each born with different innate abilities. If that individual does have the gift, increasing in level will give birth to more powerful abilities. Hmm? I see a lot of potential in you. Here you go. This is an allowance worth being such an enthusiastic scholar. <laughs> hey, hey, I got, I got money, money back. Buy some pencils and books with that, okay? Stick with it, kid. And what about the others? What about death blow skills? Good, good. Ask away, youngin. As you already know, there are three strength levels for the ordinary attack option. The weak attack, which is the triangle button. The strong attack, which is the square button. And the fierce attack, which is the X button. Death blow skills are special chains of attacks that first use some weak or strong blows to knock your foe off balance and then end with a fierce blow to do some major damage. But first, you must master the use of weak, strong, and fierce attacks in order to become able to learn such death blow skills. To master these attacks, you should keep trying to do, say, four weak blows in a row, or two strong blows, or even a fierce blow accompanied by another type of blow. In other words, the way to learn new death blow skills is through the frequent use of various combinations of the three basic attacks. So, what you think? Doesn't it make you want to go out there and start learning those death blow skills as soon as possible? Pretty, that's a neat concept I'll probably have to get into later, I guess. What about the other set? Skill levels, I guess. Alright, here you go. More about death blows and their relation to experience levels. If you want to see how close you are to learning certain death blow skills, go to the menu screen and then to the status screen. From the status screen, you can select skills to view a list of your death blows with meters showing the percentage learned so far. If one of the death blows just doesn't seem to be increasing, then you're probably using the wrong types of attack buttons. 
In that case, it might be best to try those attacks you normally haven't been using. So experiment with different attack patterns! But remember this. Some death blow skills cannot be obtained until you have reached a certain level of experience. If you have not attained that experience level, then it won't matter even if the death blows meter has reached 100%. In this case, you will have to wait until your level of experience increases before you will be able to learn to use that death blow. And that's about it. If you keep up in your studies, you're bound to go far. Thanks, old man. Good day. I'm the village consultant. But to tell you the truth, the village chief knows far more than I do. However, the chief is an awfully busy person, so I have been placed in charge of answering some of the more mundane questions. As a special for this week, we are te lecturing on the techniques of martial arts to self-defense. Wouldn't you like to learn about it? Oh god. Yes, please skip to the next on the timestamp, okay? Explain battle commands. Alright then, allow me to explain the overall battle commands. During battle, there are two groups of commands you can choose from. You can toggle between groups with the left and right directional buttons. The first group includes the most frequently used attack, defense, and key options. The second group contains special commands such as combo, escape, and so forth. You fight by skillfully selecting from the two groups of options the action that best suits your circumstances. Normal. You should be able to get by with just the first group of options. The item option is in both sets, so you don't have to switch groups to use such items. Well, that pretty much wraps it up. Please come back again whenever you need my services. What can I do for you today? Or not the defense option. Oh, I see, I see. You wish to inquire about defense? Well, allow me to begin. By choosing defense, you can have the damage your opponent does to you. Fighting is not just about being on the offensive. At times, it pays to hold back. When you find yourself in a pinch, it may be a good idea to leave the attacking up to your, own, your other party members and simply choose to defend yourself from enemy attacks. Well... That's about it. Oh, and if you have any other questions, please feel free to stop by anytime now. You hear? And action points? Aha! I knew you were going to ask me about that. Well, then allow me to explain about action points. Hmm. There are three kinds of attacks. Weak, strong, and fierce. Each using up a set amount of action points when performed. When all your action points are used up, your turn will end. Conversely, as long as you have action points left, you may continue to attack. In other words, action points represent how many attacks you can perform in one turn of combat. In the beginning, you will only start out with three action points. However, as you increase in level, your action points will increase accordingly. The secret in putting up a good fight lies in how you utilize your action points, what strengths of attacks you use, and what order you dish them out in. Well. That's it in a nutshell. Oh, and don't hesitate to ask if you have any other queries. And the attack option itself? My, you are bold! Okay, then allow me to explain to you a little about attacking. I am sure that you already know that there are three types of attacks, weak, strong, and fierce, each of which uses up a different amount of action points. The fierce attack, which is the x button, uses up three points. If you have only three attack points, all will be used up in one fierce attack. The weak attack, which is the triangle button, um, will use up to one point per blow. So with three attack points, you can attack the same enemy three times in rapid succession. The strong attack, the, the square button, uses up two points per blow. So if you've got three attack points, you can combine one strong attack with one weak attack to total three points. It is possible to continually press the X button to keep obliterating enemies in one fierce blow. But you may find out that relying on this will have repercussions later. And that's about all I have to say about that, really. Please come by again when you're in need of advice. And lastly, the combo option. Ooh, the combo option, eh? I didn't expect you to ask about it. Well then, allow me to explain the art of the combo. When you use the attack option, there are times when you do not use up all your action points, such as the case when you eliminate an enemy by using only a fraction of your total points, or when you cancel midway through an attack turn. Action points which don't get used up are stored in an AP counter. When this AP counter stores up a certain amount of points, you will become able to use combos. Combos are a rapid series of death blows that let loose all at one time. 
and they tend to be rather ferocious. Any foe on the receiving end of that combo will likely die. At low experience levels, you probably won't be able to do much combo damage, but in time, you'll be able to do some devastating combo maneuvers. And that's that. So if you need any other advice, you know where I am. And that ends the tutorials. That was a lot of tutorials. We're saving that one right now because holy shysta. Holy shysta, that was a lot of tutorials and my throat's already parched from that. <laughs> holy crap. So, is there anything, any other places I can check out? From all the cool people of Lahan. Buongiorno! I think I did that poorly. Okay, that just takes me outside. Okay, so our character does not move in relative. Hey, stop pushing! What are you, some kind of per- No. No, 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 don't worry, it's perfectly good food like that! I can't do that, nope. Uh, uh, oh, it's you, Faye. What do you want? Finally, at my age, I've become able to live in peace. At this rate, I'll probably live to be a hundred. <laughs> so characters do have set different dialogues when you just bump into them, eh? More specific ones, eh? Yeah, maybe specific ones. What about this door? My husband's love for the rock, paper, scissors, or RPS game is ruining us. Just recently, he even said he had a dream of receiving the hero title from the RPS king. If only someone could utterly defeat him to make him see reality. But he's just so good. Uh-oh. I have this feeling. Yo! You want to play a rock, paper, scissors? It's 50 gold per challenge. Let's do it! Yeah, that's the way, Faye. If you manage to beat me five times in a row, I'll give you a special reward. I need some kind of risk to make things interesting against such an amateur. <laughs> Here we go. One, two... Rock scissors! Oh, no, rock! Darn, you got me. I can't believe this. Oh! Yay, let's try again. We're just getting started. Are you ready to rock? Here we go. One, two. Oh, shit. Here, hey! You are late, you cheesy cheater. Only cowards do that. The penalty's 15 gold. Come on, cough up. Oh, you, oh, you bitch. Okay, we're... let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, one, two, scissors. Rock. Scissors! You did scissors! Ah, oh, yes, I win! I did it, baby! You can kiss my... Stop, stop, August, stop. Stop, don't, don't get it. Don't get a hold of yourself. Get a hold of yourself. No gambling, no gambling. No gambling. Well, if it isn't Faye. Isn't it exciting to know that Timothy's wedding is going to be tomorrow? I think it's time you found a wonderful girl like Alice yourself. <laughs> By the way, Faye, what do you think of Lahan? I like it. Lahan, I like it. The village leader, Chief Lee, has taken such good care of me. Everyone in the village has warmly accepted me. Regardless of where I have been born and raised, Lahan is now my home. Ah, yes. It makes me happy just to hear that. Here, take this as an allowance. Don't squander it all at once. Time to play rock, paper, scissors. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's do this! No, no that's not it, actually. Let's be a good person. Field. It's a pretty idyllic looking town, I guess. 
The perfect scenery for chaos to show up, just like that what happened in the beginning, I guess. See the bride? This is the bride's house. Why, hello, Faye! Have you come to visit our Alice? She's upstairs right now. But doesn't time fly? It has already been ten years since my brother and his wife passed away. He did our best to raise the two children in their place. But now, as far as Alice is concerned, I can finally say my job is done. I know Timothy will take good care of her from here on. Now all that's left is Dan. I'm going to have a hard time raising him to adulthood. <sighs> Hello, Alice. Is that your wedding dress? Oh! Ah! Faye, you startled me! Yes, it is. I just finished it. It took more work than I expected. Hmm. You did a great job there! He'll look wonderful on you, Alice. <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you. Uh... Hey, uh, I'm Alice, oh, I'm Faye. What is it? Oh, uh, nothing. I see. Um, oh, yeah, uh, that's right. Uh, Faye, have you seen Dan? Yeah, he's outside, bragging as always. <sighs> that kid. I just told him that I had an errand for him to run. Oh, yeah, what kind of errand? It's for my wedding ceremony tomorrow. I was hoping he could go borrow a camera and some lights from Dr. Izuki, up on the mountain peak. If that's all it is, I'll be glad to do it for you. Could you? I couldn't possibly... Don't worry. It's no problem. Anyway, it doesn't exactly make me feel comfortable having Dan handle such delicate instruments. What's more, I might have the chance to eat some of Yui's cooking if I go to the, do the doc's place. That's my Faye. Well, I'll go up there now and get him for you. Oh, Faye, wait! Huh? Is there something else you want me to get from Satan? No, it's not that. Huh? Faye, have you ever thought about things this way? If you had only been born in this village, and if we had only known each other earlier on. Oh, it's nothing. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, I think I'd better get going now. Oh, okay. Be careful on that mountain path. And give my regards to Dr. Izuki. Is this fate? I feel so foolish. Who am I kidding? triangle situation going on, I guess. Okay, um, if I recall correctly, the mountain tops was this direction, right? Right? I mean, I could be wrong. Oh, I guess it's up there, huh? The mountain path. So that's the world map, eh? It's a large series of islands. Oh shit, combat, okay. Okay, so key. That's a guided shot, huh? There's our aqua soul. 
defense. Attack a wolf. Those weird things. Attack the wolf. Um, so let's start off with some weak attacks and see what will work. It does work like a combo system. So those are the hobgobs. And let's try fierce. Ah, it's a headbutt. And it looks like it works off of a... Uh, works off of the similar um, system that Final Fantasy VI and VII had. With the time system and all that. Pop jerky and some gold. Okay. Oh. I was about to save, but I just found a save point right there. This way. Walking course. Watch out for the cliffs. That way. Dr. Souls. Right after the bridge. Alright, let's go. What's through here? Probably some stuff I can just farm in, right? Oh. Dr. Azuki's house is over the bridge and up the north. I... What the heck is up? They were willing to send the kid up to do this. What the hell? Okay. Fierce attack does a lot of damage, looks like. These, uh, sprite animations in combat is, not gonna lie, excellent as hell. Like, it's actually really good, holy shit. More hob jerky. Okay. So that's how it works, eh? The random encounter is, is rather, um... Seems to go... Seems to happen at a fairly frequent rate, it looks like. Holy crap, that actually hurt. Let's try this guided shot. Yeah, that's magic, all right. Level up. Okay, gives us HP max, ma mana max, attack up. That's all. Okay, works like a typical Final Fantasy S game with a level up system. Huh. All right. I might do a bit of, like, grinding here and there, but in the meantime, I think it's gonna, we're gonna stop. We're at a decent stopping point. I think the recording is about an hour long, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, we're definitely gonna be continuing tomorrow. I got some work to do and some other schedule plans, but I think I'll sh I should be able to upload it by then. But anyway... I can't wait to continue more of this for you guys to get a feel for the story. And yeah, this will definitely be a Let's Play that's more focused on the story, given what this game is most known for. So, I will be doing a lot of conversing, and reading, attempted voice acting, potential cringe, whatever. And in any case though, this is Mr. Zalgo, and I wish you guys a very, very fantastic night.